spoken. Um, they don't believe that this is in the best interest of the community. Controversy over condos. The city of Raleigh is moving ahead with condominiums in Shelly Lake Park. The move comes despite considerable concerns from thousands of Raleigh residents. CBS 17's Holden Krawicki getting answers for us about why council decided to approve this proposal. The decision really comes down to how this property is zoned. There are homes and condos nearly surrounding all sides of the property. However, the people I spoke with could only sum up the 7-1 vote in one way. It's, it's disappointing. It's frustrating. That's how Raleigh resident John Weikert reacted to news that the Raleigh City Council was moving ahead with plans to rezone property near Shelley Lake to allow construction of more than 100 condos. There are other parks nearby that have houses and condos that close and I've been to them. They're not as nice. They're not as beautiful. Nearly 9,000 people signed an online petition seeking to block the development, which falls in Councilman Patrick Bufkin's district. We have to recognize that this property will be developed at some point. Bufkin says he signed off on the development because it provides transitions and buffers between the lake and nearby roads. But Councilman David Cox isn't as confident. The community has spoken. Um, they don't believe that this is in the best interest of the community. And... Uh, and at some point, that's close to what we mean by representative government. Uh, this is, I admit, a different kind of development for this part of the city, but it is consistent with the city's long-term planning goals, and it will add opportunities for new, uh, new neighbors to move to this part of Raleigh. And, and enjoy living next to our lake parks. While that may be the council's long-term goal, people like Weikert say it seems short-sighted. Part of the park will become residential, and, and right now it's all park. It's all public for everybody, and it, and it sort of becomes some folks' backyard, and it's different when you're running through somebody else's backyard. Now, there are already homes on the proposed development site, and it's unclear exactly what's going to happen to them. I reached out to the organizers of that petition, but they declined comment on this story as they consider their next steps. In Raleigh, Holden Kerwicki, CBS 17 News.